Hi everyone, Shy here. I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome to another new video. We all know that the Amazon spans 6.7 million square kilometers, covering much of northwestern Brazil and extending into South American countries. It has thousands of rivers and is also the world's largest tropical rainforest. So you can imagine that there would be lots of terrifying creatures hiding in there, from bull shark to Amazon giant leech. Here are some of the deadliest monsters of the Amazon. Number 1. Electric Eel Now, because creatures in the Amazon aren't terrifying enough, we now have to go and give them electricity. Electric eels are one of approximately 500 fish types that can produce electricity, and they're found in the Amazon and Orinoco rivers of South America, generally within the muddy, shallow parts. They're closely related to catfish rather than eels, believe it or not, and they can grow up to about 8 feet long and about 44 pounds. Generally, no two electric eels are the same with some being gray, blue, or black, while others are purple or white. But regardless of their color, they're still a creature you won't want to encounter on your trip to the Amazon. Electric eels produce enough electricity to power about a dozen light bulbs, and their electricity-producing organs take up about 80% of their body. They use it for defense and to kill their prey, and typically use up to about 700 volts, which is five times what you'll find in a standard US wall socket. Even though most people don't come into contact with electric eels, that doesn't mean people don't die from encounters when they happen. If you're shocked, you can fall into the water and drown, so most people don't die from the shock itself but rather where that shock puts you. Number 2. Candy Roo If you thought the only creature to fear in the ocean was a large one with murder on its mind and maybe some sharp teeth, you'd be wrong. Much smaller ones, grown up to about 16 inches long, are also worth fearing. Kandaru are native to the Amazon basin and are known as vampire fish and toothpick fish. Even though they can grow up to about 16 inches long, there are some that are much, much smaller and use their powers for evil. There have been many reports over the years of this parasitic freshwater catfish invading and parasitizing the human urethra. That's right, they apparently get right up in there. Reports of this type of behavior date back to around the late 19th century. But the first documented case of a kangaroo being removed from a urethra wasn't until 1997. It might be reported on, but not everyone is convinced it's true. Apparently, a 23-year-old man from Itacachiara in Brazil said a kangaroo jumped out of the water into his urethra while he urinated at high level in a river. He traveled to Manaus and underwent neurological surgery to remove the fish. There were photos, a tape of the cystoscopy procedure, and the body of the fish preserved in formalin but people were still suspicious. An American marine biologist said simple fluid physics made it impossible for fish to dart out of the water, travel up a urine stream, and enter a human urethra. So, we actually don't know if this fish is the monster it's made out to be. Number 3. Bull Shark A monster that is as bad as it's made out to be is the bull shark. These are also called Zambezi sharks in Africa and the Lake Nicaragua shark in Nicaragua. They're found around the world in warm shallow waters and are naturally angry and aggressive at absolutely everything. Their blood pressure must be through the roof. Bull sharks are responsible for the majority of near-shore shark attacks, and even those that some people claim were other species most end up being these guys' handiwork. Bull sharks grow up to about 11 feet long and have a bite force of about 1,330 pound force, which is the highest of all cartilaginous fish we know about. So, if you're gonna be bit by one, it's probably not gonna be pretty, probably not surprising. Now you know how vicious they are. It was bull sharks, not great whites, that inspired the book and movie Jaws. These sharks form part of the big three which are three shark species that are known for being capable of inflicting serious injuries on people. On a list of unprovoked attacks around the world, bull sharks come in third place with 117, behind tiger sharks and great white sharks. Before moving on to the next point, I'd like to take a moment to introduce you all to my merchandise. You can support my content by getting your favorite products from my store or by simply joining my channel. Your support means a lot to me. Now, let's get back to the number 4, South American Rattlesnake. As if we needed any more reason to fear snakes, the South American Rattlesnake is one more. This snake, found in South America, is a venomous pit viper. It can grow up to about 5 feet long and is noticeable by its stripes that start from the base of its head. They also have white or yellowish bellies with light gray spots and often a gray tail. It's important to know what these snakes look like because you're gonna need to run very fast when you see one. 
They have crotoxin and crotamine neurotoxins in their venom that can have a severe effect on humans. You may start to notice progressive paralysis followed by impaired vision, auditory disorders, drooping eyelids, and life-threatening respiratory paralysis. Many people can also experience skeletal muscle and heart damage, aches, pains, tenderness, and dark urine caused by myoglobin being released into your blood. Generally, renal failure is the leading cause of death. South American rattlesnakes are not the most vicious and deadly snake species of all, but they're definitely pretty high up on the list. You'll want to avoid being bitten by one at all costs. Number 5. Sawfish Sawfish aren't really deadly monsters to us, but they sure look like they could be. They are carpenter sharks from the family of rays that have sharp transverse teeth positioned to look like a saw. They can grow up to 25 feet long, weigh about 1,300 pounds, and live worldwide in brackish estuarine and coastal marine waters of subtropical regions. You may also spot them in freshwater rivers and lakes. They aren't really harmful to us, but we are harmful to them. Sawfish are endangered, and this is not helped by the fact that they're slow breeders. They're also hunted for their fins to make shark fin soup and people kill them for their unique teeth and saw like many other species. Habitat loss is also a genuine concern. They're now protected in several countries like the United States and Australia, and you can be given fines for catching and not releasing them. You can kind of understand what makes people curious about them, though. They have bodies like sharks, a flat head, and sandpaper-like skin. Their mouths and nostrils are also on the underside of their heads, and they have up to 128 blunt-edged teeth on their upper jaw and up to 176 on the lower. These are arranged in 10 to 12 rows in each jaw and kind of look a bit like a cobblestone road. If you see one, keep your distance. They can inflict horrific injuries with their saw-like teeth when they feel under threat. Number 6. Paku Fish Typically, fish have pretty unique sharp teeth. They're often pointed and look nothing like ours. But the South American Paku Fish is different. Its teeth are eerily similar to ours, which makes them look quite comical. Our teeth are pretty strong, so does that mean theirs are? Why? Yes, yes, they are. The good news is they much prefer plants to flesh, so humans are generally off the menu. But there are other reasons to fear the Paku. They can outcompete native species and also spread diseases and parasites. This is not great when they live in the Amazon and other South American river systems where vulnerable fish also live. In these river systems, Paku mainly eat plants, but they also feast on nuts and food pellets. Their teeth are so strong they can crack into most things. They've also been known to bite humans, so watch your back. A toddler was once bitten at an aquarium in Scotland, but it wasn't believed to be out of aggression or seeing humans as food. The Paku may have just seen the child's wiggling finger as bait and decided to do a taste test. Number 7. Amazon Giant Leech It's okay to think leeches are gross, they kind of are. They attach themselves to your skin and can be quite hard to get off. But one leech is a bit more disgusting than others, the Amazon giant leech. The Amazon giant leech is one of the largest freshwater leeches, growing up to almost 18 inches long and up to 4 inches wide, so not one you want to find on your skin after taking a dip in the water. They are dark grey-brown in color, but younger ones often have stripes down their backs and patches of color. You'll likely stumble across these leeches at the Amazon River mouth from Venezuela to the Guianas and coastal wetland marshes. Even though leeches aren't really dangerous to us because they don't take much blood from us or transmit human diseases, they are a threat to other animals. The young leeches start by feasting on amphibians before moving up to Cayman capybaras, domestic cattle, and anacondas. When they are busy eating, you'll find them under rocks or debris in the water where they hang out to digest food and carry their cocoons. Surprisingly, the Amazon giant leech is also an exceptional swimmer. So, that was all for today. I hope you have watched the video up to this time stamp. Make sure to press the like button if it amazed you. Press the subscribe button if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, as it's totally free. You can follow me on all social media platforms. All links are given in the description. You can also watch other cool stuff. The playlist link is also mentioned in the description. I will catch you up soon in the next video. Till then, peace out.